Hi folks, uh, we have a, this GE dishwasher um, and the problem with it was that the, the heating cycle that dries the dishes uh, was no longer working. Uh, we'd pull the dishes out of the dishwasher and they'd be soaking wet. So um, the first thing I thought was the problem was the heating element. And in order to test the heating element, uh, you have to pull the dishwasher out, remove the connectors uh, on the heating element and then ohm across it with an ohm meter. I did that, measured uh, between 16 and 17 ohms, which I understand means that the heating element is good. So uh, the next thing I read to try online was to replace uh, what's called the, the flood switch. And I searched around online and couldn't find uh, any video on how to do this so this is what I wanted to show you. Um, the flood switch, flip switch is a, a part that you can buy, a replacement part, and I'll put the the uh, part number in the description for the video. This is what the old one looks like. It's got an o-ring on the bottom to seal uh, the switch and then there's an electrical connector on this thing uh, and inside this, uh, this switch is a thermistor uh, to measure temperature. And the thermistor is part of the thermostat that controls the um, heating element. And I understand these commonly go bad. It's, uh, you, you can actually ohm across the pins uh, to test the thermistor. I didn't bother to do that. I just shotgunned it, bought a new part, um, put it in, and it worked. So, in order to replace this thing, you have to remove the washer arm, which is just a simple twist uh, counterclockwise on that nut below. Remove the filter basket. Um, remove these two uh, plugs here. And then that'll allow you to pull the screen out of here. There's a little plastic ring right here that just pulls right out. And uh, you can see uh, this flood switch here um, installed right here. Now, if, I don't know if you can see down, down there, but there's two quarter inch screws that are heads that you need to remove with a socket. Um, you pull those out, be, being careful not to drop them in this switch. Uh, will then just pull right out. Um, you can pull it about uh, two inches uh, before the, the wire becomes taut on the back. Um, you just remove the connector on the back, um, put it on the new uh, switch, plug it back in, and you're good to go. One word of caution, there is a little bit of water buildup down in here, and I advise you to take some paper towels or a towel and, and uh, get that out of there before removing the switch or it'll dump all onto the floor uh, below when you remove this thing. So that's what worked for me. I hope it works for you. Good luck. Thanks.